Hmm. Fuck yeah. Hello, Kendra speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Kendra. Hi. My name is, my name is Jerome Leonard. I appreciate you taking my call. I was just speaking with one of your colleagues, Michael. Yes, yes, I see that. We have had um, Comcast contractors ah. on our property digging up our yard. Yeah, I just um, saw that in the I saw that in the notes. So they I, were actually uh, physically digging in your yard. Is that what you're saying? Digging the yard. A, a vehicle, a, a, a four by four truck, was on our uh, lawn, our front lawn. Um, for the major part of the day. Okay, but you said you just said they were digging. Were they digging, or was it just a a, a truck that was on the on your yard? Both. Both. They they dug up our yard. They uh, were trying to go underneath our driveway. Okay. I'm concerned that. Because according are, um, according to the work order here, Jerome, according to the work order, um, the actual part of the yard that they were in and the parts they were digging up is not actually your property. It's considered a city property. So that's why they were on that. So are you aware where your property line ends and where it begins? Absolutely. I, I am. I mean, it's, it's in front of my house. We've lived here 13 years. Other utilities have come and they've done their work. Uh, they were... Um, much more precise, okay. and they were much more respectful of our property. Okay. And the, the thing that really upsets us is that the, they didn't even complete the work. They're coming back again to dig well, up our yard. It's saying here that you you were uh, causing you were causing a little bit of a disturbance for them, which is why they couldn't complete the work, um, which is what's causing them to have to come back tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. There was no disturbance. There was no disturbance that I caused. I asked okay. them did you, questions. Did you have words with them? I asked them questions. I asked them what they were doing. I asked them how long it would take. I took pictures, and I told them that I'm concerned because okay, they were they, they actually submitted um, a, a report with us, an incident report, um, which is, is customary. It's what has to be done whenever there's sort of an incident with a customer or with any sort of civilian out on the street when they're working and they were claiming that you seem to be quite intoxicated and you were also being very uh, verbally abusive to them and they did feel quite unsafe um, which is why you know the work wasn't completed I'm just reading Oops. directly off the incident report here so they were stating that you were intoxicated you were up in their face taking photos of them and they didn't feel they feared for their safety is what is what they were saying Kendra and I can tell you that that is absolutely positively false on their part. I okay, have but my you did neighbors, say, you did say you were taking photos, though, is that correct? Of course, because it's my property. I have the right to take pictures of my property when someone's digging my yard. Okay, were you up in their face taking no, photos? No, I was they, not. I was very respectful with they them. They were saying that you had, you had come out in your boxers and that you had your camera and you were taking photos right up in their face and you were uh, being verbally abusive and yelling racial slurs at them. Kendra, I can tell you with certainty that that is absolutely, patently a lie. And I have my neighbors to confirm that what they put in that report is absolutely, patently lies. Okay. I, I treated them with respect. I took pictures because... Okay, do, you have, do you have any work. neighbors? Do you have uh, the contact numbers of your neighbors by chance? I'm not going to give you my neighbors' contacts. Well, excuse right? me, sir. You were just the one who suggested that they can confirm that what was in the report is a lie, and now you're not willing to let me confirm that. So which is it? Can we confirm that what they're saying is a lie, or can we not? Yes, we can confirm. Yes, okay, so, so how, how would I do but that first, without their First number? of all, I would need to see that report, and, and I would need to see... Exactly. Those are internal documents, sir. Listen, listen, I, I don't want to just go off what the report says, and that's why I'm trying to get both sides of the story. So if you were saying that they can sort of act as a, you know, to confirm what you're saying is the truth, then I am more than willing to give them a call and confirm your story. But those internal documents, the, the report that was uh, given by the workers, that is an internal document. So... It's not, you know, it's not a legal form. It's not something that we, we have the legal obligation to share. You're with. Listening, to, listening to the Prank Call Nation Network Machine. Hello. 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 At prankcallnation.com.